Hey guys, we're Clock Six Seven here. Welcome back to more God of Year Two Rage Burst. So you're allowed to gather Argami Gathering and Friar. Let's go investigate. Wanna go to your room's grave? Let's hit a Friar. I agree. All right, guys, we're gonna go do a mission. Food friends, unknown enemy, and we don't get to choose who we bring, which means we're getting things done. Whew, yes, things have calmed down for the time being. Nice job. Yeah, you too. I mean, we say that, but we can't rest just easy just yet. We won't know what main cause until we it is until we settle things with Friar. Leave that to me. All right. Preparations for the invasion of Friar complete. Be careful. Is this the last mission? I don't think it's the last mission yet. Good job. Things are just getting serious now. So get ready and take care of yourself. We say visitors have to leave. The dead is going to start a big battle, isn't it? I'm going to go back to the satellite base to protect my house. No one will be there, though. Oh, you got it, kid. Got it, Emil. The evacuees can't return home with the house. Uh, will be housed and empty warehouses in your, in your room. That, yes, that's precisely why I made this plan. I sympathize with people in this crisis. You drone arena. Oh, you pissed me off with their kid's presence. I'll let it slide. That's fair. This, that's the extent of the Argami army. I think we'll be fine. Now we're not alone. I just realized that all over again. As series of missions, it's pretty tough, wasn't it? The blood unit Scott Arcs are all set. Be careful and good luck investigating Friar. Uh, Cappy looks up you with cute brown eyes as if asking you to play. Well, I'm busy, unfortunately. <coughs> oh, I just got some effort while I was saying that. Oh, but... Alright, we're gonna switch back to my trusty dusty hammer. Yep. Alright. I got all my healings. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this thing. Let's get going. That cutscene had to load twice. That's menacing, oddly menacing for someone sitting in a wheelchair. Don't fret, children. You're not late for dinner. Oh, that's... <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. I see. Oh, never mind. It's just a hologram anyway. Let's follow. all this it looks wrong you've done well to come so far oh look at you all your skin and bones please sit let us eat Rachel what the hell is this all about? Today is a very special ceremony. It's important to make sure you begin it with a full stomach. Please, eat, or it'll get cold. Stop these games! All of this is nothing more than holograms. Where are you keeping Julius? Bring him out here right now, damn you! Shh. Sweet Julius is fast asleep. He's been working so hard for your arrival. We mustn't wake him before it's time. I'm actually glad we have a moment. It seems like ages since we've had a proper talk. I want to hear everything. Sit. Sit. Let us talk until he awakens. Oh, first, I'd love to hear about your time in the Far East. Have you gone on many missions? All right, Rachel, just tell us what the hell you want. What kind of sick game are you playing? <laughs> oh, Gilbert, that's such a silly question. There's no game. You know all people are driven by their will. I taught you that. All I've done until this moment has been for the sake of mankind. To help the weak, ignorant, foolish mortals to survive the coming trial. Dr. Rachel, if I may ask a question of you. There's the shield I know and love. So clever. I've such fond memories of your childhood. Go ahead, my dear. Dr. Leia told us everything. 
About your father, the children at Magnolia Compass, the plague patients, the fall. She blames herself. But none of that explains why. Is all of this just for Julius? What are you even trying to achieve? Even before you began, you knew you'd hurt innocent people. How could you do something so wicked? You are as brilliant and insightful as always, Shiel. I have a story that I wish to tell you all. Perhaps that will answer your questions. The story of a girl who became an Aragami. Certainly looking down and smiling upon us from heaven. Mm hmm. I think so too. And Rachel's really, really nice now. We never fight at all anymore. But sometimes when we talk, she'll just stare off into nothing, Papa. She'll mumble something really quiet to herself and smile. <laughs> Don't worry, little Leah. When I was her age, I was always debating physics with the trees and laughing with the wind. Rachel has the spark. She may become a visionary scientist one day. It's crucial to learn how to converse with nature. Really? Oh, okay. Then I'm going to be a scientist too so I can help her. I... I can be one, right? Of course, my darling. You two will be amazing. My little girl's working as one to make the world a better place. All of us, my sister, my father, even me, all born of human blood, we're all wicked. The best way is to swallow it all. Swallow until nothing will remain. But everything has to be eaten. Everything. Yes. Okay, I'll find someone. Someone who can devour all of this wicked world. The restless god was within me, always whispering in the dark, telling me how it could be done. I could end the chaos, it told me. I alone could bring unto the world a devouring apocalypse. Then, I found my sweet Julius. He was extraordinary. His body could take any bias factor. He was chosen. Perfect. My hero will awaken soon as something far more than himself. All that's left are the final preparations for his great feast. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Please, follow me down. There is only one unceasing truth in this world. Survival of the fittest. The weak must perish, and the strong survive. Nature has decreed it so. There are no exceptions, no denials to the supreme law. The devouring apocalypse swallows the great feast whole, ushers in the singularity's new order. An apocalypse has brought forth every major change since the birth of time. It is the resounding trumpet, the herald of the future. It is a divine apoptosis, by its sheer will, excising wasted life, curbing a world that has evolved far beyond its granted limits. It has happened time and again, yet still, impudent humans defy the mandate of my restless god. They protect the old chaos. 
completed its last attempt at singularity. They thought themselves immortal, banishing that infinite power to the darkness alone. But they could never hold back my sweet Julius. Think it's another hologram? Not this one. I don't need that doll anymore. There, see? Children, my blood's special forces will endure one final mission side by side. We are the final sacrifice to awaken Julius. Oh, frick. All right, guys, let's go. It actually is probably the last mission. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but I think it actually is. All right, let's do this thing. All right. Did someone just shoot? I'm transmitting Chia, what are you doing? You already shot Nana. <laughs> or Nana. Freaking heck. No, is it still you? No, uh, it was not. Oh, what the heck is that? Ow, it's a... Okay. Arp. I don't like that. 
No. Oh, oh, Fritz. I'm fine. Gilbert have a thing. Somebody have a thing. Okay, Gilbert. Fine, I'll go up a little bit. All right. No. No. Do that. That. Ow. I just want to hit the big attack. Oh, uh, somebody have some stuff. Nana have some stuff. Sure. One of them ended up on Teela. Actually, Teela. Guys. Ow, I thought it right into that. I like the ball. Dang it. Ah. No. 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 Oh, wait. And it's still hitting. Okay. Topping myself off again. Oh. A little bit. Okay. Ow, oh, no. I just want somebody to be in level 3 with me. Uh. Somebody's a skill, please. Okay. That's, that's fine. Uh, Nana. Just stop. Okay. Okay. We just level 3. Oh, dumb. Okay, good, everybody. Okay. Ooh, I got a big hit. Get him, man. There we go. We broke his arm. He's knocked down, too. Hit him. There. That was a good hit. Yeah, he's close. Which is fine with me, because... I don't know. <laughs> it's not amazing, but, you know, whatever. Let's talk, talk a little bit. Nana have a thing. Uh, Gilbert have a thing. Uh, uh, where's Heal? Where's Heal? Oh, Heal's in. Uh, Nana's in. Good. Oh, great. Heal, have a thing. Oh, didn't matter. Just as well. Uh, Gilbert, where are you? Heal up. Oh, I don't know. There we go. It's not a little high, though. That's not a little high. Because it was in the middle of me switching the weapon, so the muzzle was down there. Yeah. I guess. Ow, I forgot whenever he does that attack. Like, okay, whenever he opens up his chest like that, it's the freaking him shooting sky lasers from the heavens. The best of the Oh, Nana. Have Nana, have it. Okay, I can't get on it. Die, arm. Oh, dang it. No, no. Block that. Okay, I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't getting away from it in time, so I needed to block it. Which is fine, because I've got a tower shield. And I had time to block it. Oh, thanks, Gilbert. Uh, where's Nana? Okay, she'll get it. She'll get it. That's fine. Yes. I didn't do anything. If I can break these legs, these back legs, it'd be really helpful. Okay. Uh, okay, Nana, have a thing. I wasn't sure if that was going to I guess not. Nana, have a thing. Everybody's kind of topped up already. It's fine. Uh, as far as health is concerned, I mean specifically. Uh, Nana has a thing. Nana, sit still. There we go. Ow, break. Ow. Yeah, that. Come here. Ooh, that was a good hit. And that was but if there's hours increase, it's not there to be damaged, it's there to give me some danger. burst. I'm fine. Especially because he's not. Good. Oh, he's almost down too, actually. I'm just gonna... Just... Oh, gosh. Ow! Good, we broke his thorax. That's cool. Nana, have some stuff. Okay, shield that might have some stuff. Yeah. That. That. Nah, no, I wasn't going to pass that. Dang. Oh, God. Get your hand. 
Stand still. No, it's getting slashed. Thanks, Donna. Oh, there we go. Mission complete. Extraction team coming in. Guys, we did it. Oh, wow. Alrighty. Guys, Donna did a thing. She'll get a thing. And you guys. I still love that line. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh gosh. Alright guys, we did it. We did it. Okay. Go team. Alright, uh that one I guess. Alright. Yeah, okay. Lucky. Lucky! This makes me think of Lucky Glowy. <laughs> uh, I do speed, close quarters, defense. Great, cool level six, awesome. Uh, anything down here? Blood Bowl, okay, fine, whatever. Okay, okay. 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 Is it done? Dr. Rachel. What's happening? The feast is laid. The devouring apocalypse has at last begun. Shatter and burn thy decrepit world. It is a power beyond human ken. Despair at its rise. I had hoped that you, my beautiful children, would stand with me. Would face the end of all time beside me. Alas, you have already chosen your path. You chose to wander in shadowed and dangerous woods. Now you shall sleep eternally. Farewell, flesh of my flesh. Farewell, blood. Let us meet again in the new world. A world uncorrupted. Julius, you must now awaken. <laughs> Look, Julius, it's morning. The sun is shining. All your new friends are waiting for you. Good morning to you, my dear Julius. It is a brand new day for all of us. Is that Julius? We hear you, Director. We're reading a massive bias field disruption near your location. Fall back at once. The pulse is almost identical to the pattern of the devouring apocalypse. There's still time before it reaches us over here. Retreat to the Far East Branch for now. I know we can find a way to stop this. Captain, there's no other choice. We must withdraw. Okay, never mind, I was wrong. We have like one more mission now. Okay, guys, things are getting tense. What's up, guys? Nice to meet you. Nice, you made it back. Why does that have an active mission? I'm not doing a special mission now. It's literally the last mission. That's so stupid. Nice, you made it back in one piece. Dr. Scott, call for you, but you better calm down first. 
Uh, Dr. Sakaki had something to discuss in the branch, branch director's office. Okay. So, the devouring apocalypse. Yeah, that's what it's called. So this will become a friar. Are you back safely, my friend? Uh, no, I'm not, actually, though. Uh, this is a little, feels a little bit desperate, doesn't it? Oh, a little bit. Anyone here? Friar is a mess, but I'm glad everyone made it back. Curses. We couldn't have done anything before it came to this. Couldn't have done anything. Is that Dr. Rachel's endgame? Yeah, she kind of already made it a little bit obvious. Oh, what's up? I uh, would have been able to do something had I only realized. Why? How did it come to this, Julius? Yeah. Things are not going well. I want to get some items. Alright. To the executive section. Actually, hold on. To the laboratory first. What's up? Mission is going to start, right? These patients to me, and that's all I can do after all. I want to talk to you first. Nothing was surprise me now, but since I can track track to play, I've been prepared. Just glad I get to be here with this beautiful family, my two kids and our close friend Asuna. Oh no, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Went bad, huh? I wonder if everyone in the starlight base is evacuated safely. Die Daichi, you idiot. Why don't you go home? It's dangerous here. It's okay. The guide leaders are allowed uh, to be here, that's why they're here with us until the very end. I'm not gonna let this get me cough cough. Okay. Nothing there. Now it's the executive section. I'm afraid I have ill news. We considered your report and the results of bias field monitoring. At this point, we must assume that the transformation is complete. Julius has become a singularity. If that is so, I am afraid there is almost no hope of saving him. And if we allow the devouring apocalypse to begin, that is the end for all of humanity. All life will be purged, reset, and redistributed. The world will cease to exist in its current form. Director Sakaki, is there anything we can do? There must be some way to stop it. Hmm. Let me begin by saying one thing. I have never agreed with sacrificing the few for the many. No matter how desperate, there is always a path to victory that doesn't require sacrifice. Miracles happen when hope rises. My friends have proven that truth to me. It is undeniable. Listen well. There may be a path to such a miracle here. Still, it will be a narrow one and treacherous. One misstep. Well, you may still manage to stop the devouring apocalypse, but the cost will be unbearably high. All of blood, Miss Yuno, and others may lose their lives. Discuss it first among yourselves and with Miss Yuno. When you're ready, I'll tell you my plan. What do you mean, ready? We're ready now. It's reckless, dangerous, mad even. Yet I know that if I tell you, you'll begin without a second thought. I want to be completely honest with you first. Please, discuss it together. Think it over. You must come to a decision you won't regret. Think hard about who and what you fight for. Well, if we're all gonna die anyway, I mean... Heck. Not really much to discuss at that point, is there? If it's either we're all gonna die or we might die. <laughs> like... I don't know. Do you guys really think we can stop something like the devouring apocalypse? What do you mean? I can't imagine how powerful it must be. We're ultra strong, I know, but are we really strong enough to fight something like that? I believe in you, in You're us. You're all so incredible. If I'm being honest, I'm terrified. This is the first time I've ever chosen to fight like this. This must be how God Eaters always feel before a battle. I think I'm starting to understand. The captain is right. I believe so strongly in all of you. I will fight beside you with all the power I have to give. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are right. You know, I remember Julius told us something. The very first time we had field training together. Humanity has faced enemies since ancient times. Humanity has always prevailed. It's true. He told us that blood power and all that was just the strength of our resolve. And it's even stronger when we're a team. Yeah. The will to bring us together. We will stop the devouring apocalypse. And not only that, we'll bring Julius back. <gasps> My own character had a voice line. What the heck? <laughs> So weird. 
All right, guys, your judgments are often illogical, but they saved us every time, so I trust your judgment this time. Please make your, ahem, our decision. We will show Julius the power of our will. We have to go meet Julius. I agree. Freya is a mess. Okay, that's the same one. All right, guys, let's go do this thing. Let's go talk to Skaki again. I'm making this the last episode. This is the last episode, guys. Not, it's not happening anyway, either way. Have you guys made up your minds? Stop the apocalypse. I see you very well. In that case, I'll begin the explanation. Everybody drop the mic. We're stopping this apocalypse. It is a risk to be sure, but the only thing that can stop a devouring apocalypse is yet another devouring apocalypse. Director Sakaki, have you gone mad? Not at all. I mean, well, not this time. Listen, a devouring apocalypse begins with a singularity, such as Julius. They impose a devastating will to rewrite the world from scratch. With the power of another singularity to wake another devouring apocalypse, we could face this head on. I believe we would have the pure strength needed to counteract Julius's will. Before I even begin to explain singularities and apocalypses, I'll need to explain the Black Plague. You see, the plague is a mechanism used to create a singularity. Julius overcame a merciless natural selection process to prove himself capable of taking on this role. Miss Yuno and the other patients who contracted the plague couldn't endure the selection. They're failures, in a manner of speaking. Failures? Director, there's just no way. Y you mean every death because the plague was meaningless? No, no, not at all, and I'll tell you why. Here's the twist. The plague patients are only failures when you consider there to be only one singularity. Do you all understand? If we combine the will of those infected, it may indeed be more than enough to counter the completed singularity. Well, in theory at least. <laughs> yes, in theory, but we have no way to accomplish that. Precisely, Shield. Now, the key to establishing a singularity is a powerful resonance, yes? After all is said and done, a singularity is merely a great will, and the expression of will is a great resonance. When multiple wills merge, they form a resonance, one that amplifies human hope. It multiplies that hope, spreading it over vast distances. Your blood unit is the ideal embodiment of that very resonance. Like as not, blood unit can't trigger a resonance that strong, and we fight at full strength. I'm afraid the infected have little chance. Ah, there's the rub. The plague is born of oracle cells, and the patients, well, they don't have enough will to form an elegant resonance. However, will we solve the problem? Resonance is not the only harmony of human hope. It is not the only tool by which we can bind together will and strength. Lo, there are others. Isn't that right, Miss Yuno? Huh? You've always held that music brings together the hearts of its listeners as one, correct? Yes, I have. I... I want to believe that. Good answer. I want you to sing, Miss Yuno, like you've never sung before. Melody will be the catalyst to bind together our wills. I will. I'll do everything I can. Our success will depend on each and every one of you. When her song has bound the will of humanity together, use the evoke ability that dwells in your blood. The resonance it triggers will amplify this collective will and complete the singularity. You see? In brief, Miss Yuno gathers the willpower, and you, my good captain, shall amplify its strength with the power in your veins. We will create an apocalypse to fight an apocalypse. Mad? Almost certainly. But it's the only choice we have. 
Guys, we're going to spirit bomb the crap out of the Devouring Apocalypse. Let's go. <laughs> I assume prepared. We'll be victorious. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're going to spirit bomb the crap out of a Devouring Pop Apocalypse with a Pop Idol, J Pop Idol song in English. Because, you know. Uh, Blood, <laughs> Blood, are you guys ready for this? This is anime at its finest. <laughs> Oh gosh, Blood is a deployment request. Stop the Devouring Apocalypse. Let's go. Aria of Light. Not Aria of Sorrow. That's a different game. Ju <laughs> Captain Julius has become the singularity and has started Devouring Apocalypse. Backed by the party's branch, Blood will use its powers to cut away into prior. Vera Yuno's voice, carrying the gathered will of humanity, shall oppose the singularity. Stand strong for the future of mankind and fight with everything you have. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you guys are ready for this. You guys better get ready for this. Get a seat and be prepared to sit on the edge of it. Uh, we're <laughs> we're gonna stay with all everything we got. Got uh, yeah, okay. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. I'm ready. I'm freaking stoked. Try not to talk all over this cutscene. Sometimes I can't help myself, but I'll do my best. To Julius? Blood, come in. We're preparing to activate the devouring apocalypse. Director Sakaki, belay that order. Julius, it's us! Your friends! Wake up, please! Julius! You... you've taught me so much. Each of us can mend our shortcomings. When we're together, our weaknesses fade away. And only strength remains. Julius needs us more than ever. Let's bring him home. That's right. If we gave up on him now, all his dreams would be lost. And we're not going to let that happen. So hold on, Julius. We're coming. Let's do this. We carry Romeo's strength inside us. There's no way we'll let Julius fall here. All right, guys, can you spell final boss time? Let's go. After oh, okay, here we go. I was about to say after look. Oh, frick. <laughs> come here, you. Oh, I didn't want to. Okay, come on. I didn't want to jump past him. Also, I'm doing no damage. Okay, devour him. Devour him. Heavenly chance. Uh, get a thing. I didn't mean to. Uh, do it. Okay. Oh, frick. Yeah, he's aggro at me. He's very, very aggro at me. I'm not really sure. I don't think the hammer does anything to most of the freaking. You know, it doesn't, doesn't do anything to It seems like the only spot that seems like it's taking any damage is the legs here. Maybe his front probably would be better. Oh, good. Yeah, that hardly does anything. In comparison to what, like, 
this is like, getting to in comparison to like the fact that it's a big old heavy terminal strike or whatever it's called. Ah, get Oh, frick. Ow. Okay. Fall back and heal yeah. Oh, what? I'm working on it. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, that attack has some big range. Come here, you. I don't trust that attack. Oh, God. It didn't even hit me at all. I could have just done a big heavy swing, right? I mean, world opener is in rage. Oh, frick. Yeah. Aha, you fool. Okay, well, he does that attack. He can't use it when you're, like, right in his freaking face. Oh, he's, at a, he's got a big game on those Uh, I mean, hey, man, that's not doing no damage. Uh, despite the fact that it's hitting a part of the Oh, my gosh. That's, that, talk about a freaking rapid slash. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go, so, guys, we can shoot rapid slash. We can shoot Virgil's stupid, three broken assist. Ow. I don't like that. That's a lot of spinning. Guys. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of sword spinning. Dude, this guy's just Virgil. Look at this guy. He's got freaking summon swords. He's doing rapid slash. Like he basically looks like he's already in double pair. So like, oh, that hit is freaking. Sword. Crucially, he's not using a gun. That that's a thing that Virgil does. Get it, pick it. There we go, that's more like it. Just hitting him in, in the Julius work. Sounds like a, like a body part, but it's actually just Julius. Ow, oh, rapid slash! Urgh. He'll have a thing. Oh god. Uh, uh, does anyone need to heal? Uh, Gilbert? Heal up, buddy. There we go. I'm gonna just keep my, uh, freaking OP for healing purposes at this point. The heal's in hand. Okay, we heal up, good. Okay, I'm gonna get one more and then give a bunch of stuff to Don I guess, because he's the one who's the if he's being targeted right now. Uh preferably to No Gilbert, you little jerk, and one of them hit the freaking sword. Oh frick. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Uh restore ghosts. I probably should use the restore ball, but whatever. Everybody heal up. No, I was so close! I'm gonna just block that. Does everyone use this for purpose? Uh -oh. Well, he's already kind of weak. Ow! That hurt, actually. That put a lot of damage. Oh, I don't like that amount of spinning. Yeah, I can even block that for a sec. Gilbert has some stuff. Sure, but Gilbert just blew over I guess. Oh, I think he'll try to fire something at me. Uh, I'm gonna heal up a little bit because I don't know. I wonder if the stun grenade would work on it. It did! See, I did not think it was gonna work. Dang it, guys, don't push me out of the way of that. Power him! Don't get it. Oh, thanks, Gilbert. You're, 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 you're a guy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Hit him with the big old rapid slap. I have a thing on Oh, he slashed it out of the sky. He was like, no, 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 not today. Alright, come on, give me a chance. Did he get knocked down? He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, oh, it's not doing as much damage as I was, no, okay, yeah, get out of that. Nana, get out of that. Also, Gilbert, come here. That's his shield. Gilbert, come here. Gilbert, you freaking idiot. Okay. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Yes. No, not that. Okay, fine, whatever. Good enough. Don't block that. Ah, oh, what's this up here? He's low, guys. He's super low. Okay, that's gonna be a stun attack. Uh, he wants some stuff. He'll have, have a chance. Oh, that's a big laser. It's gonna unload with a friendly fire, a friend or foe bullet. Anti-friendly fire bullet. Heal up. Oh, that's rapid flash. Oh, quick rap. Ow, I dodged. Yeah, right in there. I'm not gonna remember. I Dang it! Here you! That's not very. That's not good. 
No, that's Rapid Slash. Nope. No Rapid Slash for you, buddy. No Rapid Slash. Good job, guys. We did it. Let's go, team. Let's go, team. Hey, Julius. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? It's like perpetually trying to stretch. All right, guys. Guys, we did it. We did it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get a good position there. Yeah, there we go. Look at us. Look at us. We rock. Job team. Oh my goodness. That actually didn't feel as big of a deal of a boss fight as the previous one did, per per to be perfectly honest. Yep. But I'm not scared. Gauge recovery amount, raging gun again, harden, HP and stamina. Oh, that would have been so helpful. Oh well, whatever. I don't even want to look at anything. Actually, I just accidentally pressed the button early, or too many times, but that's okay. Alright, guys. They won't give in. Miss Takamine, this battle is not yet won. Go and get everything up and running. Hurry, woman! Got it, Director. Almost there. The bias field is being disrupted. It's just like the first. The bias field of a devouring apocalypse. Miss Takamine, report. Are we ready? Satsuki here. We're all set up for the show, Director. Just give us a spotlight. It's begun. Blood, retreat immediately. The field's fluctuating wildly. All right, let the song begin. I'm heading back to the lobby now. Get the live feed connected. You know, time to take the stage. Is this it then? Is Miss Yuno's song fated to become our funeral dirge? What is that? Listen. The song. Can you all hear that? Can you hear it? You know your song. The whole world sings your melody. Fields are flowing towards Friar. They're... They're coming from all over the world. Scientifically speaking, sound is little more than vibration in the air. But this is so much more. There is true power here. 
This is the power that turns the hope of one man to the hope of all. That takes one small drop and turns it to an ocean. Gaining strength, both of the apocalypses are growing. They should begin simultaneously. Five minutes and no, two minutes and counting. Melody twining in rhythm, emotion inherent in the words that we sing, where music and hope align. Yes, this resonance will be wondrous. Unit. It's as you heard. The apocalypse is rising. What's coming will be well beyond the realm of man's comprehension. Julius, you're all right! Please, come back with us. I would love nothing more, Nana. Truly. Yet, I cannot stop the apocalypse from beyond this place. You have to stay. The singularity must remain here. That's the truth, isn't it, Julius? Yes. I am sorry, but I am bound to this place. There is no way for me to return. Then, we'll stay here with you. No, Sheil. No. You must go back. I entrust to you the protection of every soul holding to this precious song. It's not an order. It's simply my heartfelt wish. My friends, this is where I must face my final battle. You cannot intervene here. You belong safe on the other side. It is the only way. If somehow, if you can forgive me, I want more than anything for us to fight together again. As one. As blood. Julius! Please. Thank you. It begins. All of you, fall back to your positions, all right? I can take it from here. As you wish, Julius. Will. We'll keep everyone safe for you. I swear it. Gil, please. We can't just... Shield, sweetie, come on. We need to do as Julius said. You're one of us, Shield. And you always will be. We have to do this. So please stay with us. Be brave for Julius. Thank you, all of you, for believing in my 
strength even now. Thank you, all of you, for trusting me. Alright guys, there it is. That is God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Oh my goodness, it has been a journey. Holy crud. Oh man. It's pretty crazy, huh? Alrighty. So um Yeah, I this is the second time I've beaten this game. Uh, the first game I only played through the first half, um, before deciding to restart, um, to play, to do first, uh, let's play. Uh, this game I actually got, um, I actually got both of them as a bundle, and, um, but I really wanted to play the second game first, because I really, I think the reason is because I had gotten into the series, I wanted to try the series because of Project Awesome, and I had just been playing Project Awesome 2, and so I really wanted to play, um, uh, with uh, Sheila and Anna and Alyssa specifically, well, Sheila and Anna in this case, specifically first. Um, and I figured, oh, the second game is going to be probably the better game, it's a sequel, all this. So I wanted to play it first, and then I played the second one. And then halfway through playing, the, or then I played the first one, and halfway through playing the first one, I decided, you know what, I should do a Let's Play of this. So I restarted. And then, here we are. Here we are. I love how I was giving a whole bunch of information on the music. Because this game's music, man. Oh, I really like No Way Back. Gods and Men is okay. Argue Light is, of course, good. Fate Intense Remix is really good. Oh, man. Ending theme, Aria of Light. Aria of Light. Orchestra version specifically, of course. And then, of course, in Japanese versus the English. Opening and movie. It's a very good game. It's long. Holy crud. Because missions take forever, and there's a lot of random filler missions that don't have any story progress. Um, all that said, I mean, it's such a, it's such a good game. It's, it's a well made game. Part, I think there's a couple of uh, issues here and there, of course, as any game would have. Uh, of course, a couple of like typos and a couple of small issues. Like sometimes the music is a little too loud to hear any of the voices in some of the cutscenes, or a cutscene will miss a sound effect that sounds like it should be there, or something like that. Um, 
and then sometimes the game can be frustrating when you're fighting monsters that just will not sit still, like freaking Vajras, and also enemies that hit you while they move, like all cars and more come on. But all that being said, it's just such a great game. The uh, story is super, super good. The characters are all really interesting, and I think one thing they do particularly well is that each character isn't just a one-note, like, stereotype character, but they kind of almost, in a way, start as a one-note stereotype character and take that and add a lot of depth to it. So they take, like, the super studious but doesn't interact with people very much character of S.H.I.E.L.D. and add a lot of depth into her background and character building to dig like the really peppy character who's always positive because she's secretly hiding some kind of dark past and kind of really give a lot of depth to it um and they did that in the first game as well and i don't know i just think they did a really good job with the characters they're not boring one-off characters but they actually have a lot of substance to them um i would probably say in general i suppose i like I think I probably like this game a little bit more than the previous one. God, it's hard to say. Because, to me, it, the difference, the major difference between the two, either come, the, the two major differences, I should say, either comes with the characters that are in it. And I think I like, especially considering the second game has a lot of characters that are in the first game already, any, anyway. Um, canon, of course, is great. Um, I think I like the squad in the second game a little bit better. Uh, I really like Gilbert's character. I think his backstory is really good. And um, I think they did a really good job with his character and fitting his personality. It just feels really realistic. And of course, Nana is my favorite character. Um, and not because of the clothing, of course. It has to do with the character's personality. We didn't get into any of his characters uh, personally, or the, the character episodes. We didn't get into any of those. Mark who won't be but also his character is more funny because of his character episodes, which we didn't get into. Um, but he's a fun character. Uh, I think Shield's a perfectly fine character as well. I think I probably like Alyssa a little bit more in that kind of studious but antisocial character archetype, because both games kind of have that. I think I like Alyssa a little bit more than Shield in that sense, in that, that um, role. Um, but then the other major difference, though, is the... I think I like Cody a little bit more than Romeo and their respective roles. Um, Soma and Gilbert kind of fit similar roles in a sense, and then Nana is just kind of there. Uh, um, but I think as far as... Oh, and then there's Limbo for a little bit of time as well, I guess, technically. Um, and then Julia, so I don't know, whatever. But, um... And then the other major difference would be the blood arts, or, and blood bullets for that matter, versus the devour. Uh, and it's tough. That one's a little bit tougher for me, I think. Uh, because I really like the blood arts, and they have a lot more variation and customizability. But also, without the blood art, or without the, um, um, devour art things, I forget what they're called off the, top of my head, off the top of my head, but without those, you can't devour in the air, which is a huge, huge step down in a certain fights, especially against Syrians, but also against stuff like Chios and, um, the enemies that are, like, that their weak spots are high up, it becomes really cool if you want to jump around a lot. But then you all of a sudden have to bend the other to the power. So that is a big thing. And that's probably the major really only step down from the previous game. Um, one other thing I also really liked about the previous game, and really specifically my playthrough of it, was I just loved my, my player character uh, in the previous game. Mostly because I think I really love the voice I picked. The personality is just hilarious. So a lot of really funny lines. And then also... Um, the clothing options for the females, I think, are just better, generally speaking. And it seemed like a lot of the clothing options are the same between games. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> More cutscenes are happening.
It's a big old carnivine. The shiny carnivine. Look at it. <clears throat> yeah, we want to over, run over at our save data. Come on. What do you think this is? Holy crud. All right, guys. This was for Kigurumi. Oh, boy. And Mutsumi, Ye, Kun Kunio, and Kappi are now available as back. Kappi is available, apparently. Bonus unit episode of Real Promise in the extra section of the mission is menu. Here we go, guys. Let's talk to everybody real quick. Hey, Cap Captain. Hey, Captain. Did you see Yuno's show? She was really uh, something. I'm still impressed that she can deal with Sasuke's insane driving all the time. He's been working so hard since she recovered from the Black Plague. She's putting us to shame. Uh, let's take our mail. Development department. Pendant trunks layered. Bikini force. BW series M classic. Uh, Demas. Okay. Party's branch. Spiral tree information. The following is a official notice. Investigation to be kept to a minimum. Julius and Rachel both sacrifice themselves. Stop the gathering apocalypse. You know Ashihara and Blood are assisting. Please conform to the above information when we are speaking to the events concerned. Uh, Far East Branch must place a calm and order above all else. Thank you for cooperation. I guess. Let's meet again sometime, you know. Now that my job has resumed out here in the satellite bases, I'll be away from the Far East Branch for a while. But I want to let you know that I had a great time with all of you. It was really hard to leave when I spoke to Julius and the rest of Blood and realized how much you all had, you all had to fight. I realized I needed to fight harder too. I'll do my best not to let you all down. Travel all over and come back much stronger, I promise. Anyway, stay safe. It's your Luno. Back to the grind zone. You probably heard already from Yuno, but we are going to head heading out another PR run away from the parties for a while. I really, really need to thank you. Blood has been so good to us. We when I remember how much of a nightmare it was to you guys at the beginning, it's so embarrassing. Hope you can chalk it up to my foolishness. Let it be wandering the bridge. Anyway, stay healthy until we meet again. See you. Of course, you were lovely, darling. Lovely. Origami, of course, is going to be Warboros, Goddard Soldier Zero, and the World Opener. People, it's me! Admire is the key player in the resolution of the Red Rain problem. Perhaps because of his, the images that were broadcast by Fender's public service broadcasting service, Far East Branch has been flooded by requests to publicly share the captain's profile. Jeez. Gilbert! Assigned as much to his blood, his communication with Far East Branch's younger God Eaters, maintenance crew, and other personnel is excellent. He's learned much from his fellow blood members and service. He uses tactics, strategy, and care for his allies, equal of any captain. Uh, his speed at picking up how to maintain and customize God Eaters is extraordinary. Give new God Eaters to seek him for advice. Neo. An architect working on the satellite bases builds both large and small structures, always strives to cram high performance greenhouses into any additional space you can find. Often these based off permission to gather materials, causing new cradle members endless headaches. Okay. While Julius being hailed as the hero that Briar could have taught, Dr. Grimm is being heavily pressed for negligence of duty by the Court of Inquiry, top secret. Fair enough. Dr. Skaki, seeing the problem of Red Rain salt resolved for the time being, he has to focus his efforts on studying the spiral tree. Soma Shixel, the son of Dr. Skaki's close friend and former branch director of Joan Honest Von Shixel, has pioneered research into anti origami walls that enabled Dr. Skaki's own research to proceed. Now, as two scientists working on the same field, Dr. Kaki has stepped down as leader researcher and acts primarily in supporting the persona of Shield. Uh, with an expansive knowledge of tactical strategy and a burgeoning ability to read, uh, react ad hoc to any situation, she is quickly shaping up to be a superb vice captain. Although her knowledge of firearms is already extensive, she studies and tinkers daily, customizing the bullets. She has also taken it upon herself to care for the Kaki Park Lounge. Day by day, it grows larger. Take care not to get bitten. Julius. Worshipped by some as the savior who created the spiral tree and stopped the red rain. Fenrir has publicly announced that his involvement in the fire coup d'etat was a necessary first step toward the creation of the spiral tree and is now being lauded as the hero of Fenrir. The, uh, the continued activity of the spiral tree has proven without a shadow of a doubt that Julius, acting as a singularity, still lives on in the core of the spiral tree. However, due to the difficulty of obtaining hard scientific data, further details are, as yet unknown, are as of yet unknown. Fenrir's public accommodation of Julius is thought of as a move to avoid his two responsibilities for the coup d'etat. Fair enough. <laughs> Nana! Now that she has mastered her special powers, her fighting style has become even bolder. Day by day, she takes an even, even greater risk as a decoy. She is also finally approaching proficiency with a gun. <laughs> That's good. Lately, she has been gunned to concoct homemade recipes in the lounge. The range of flavors varies greatly, from the very good to the mind-numbingly disgusting. All <laughs> thrill seekers and gamblers test their luck daily. Be worry of any snacks lying about in the lounge. That's fair. You know, cured of black plague. Once the battle tree appeared, 
She immediately parted, departed the party's branch to resume her PR activities. Her popularity and visibility continue to rise. She works harder than ever before, which is to visit the party's branch again, but cannot take time off work. That's fair. Rachel! Since the dose of P73 bias factor revived her, she has acted less than human. As a result of pursuing singularity in order to trigger the Devouring Apocalypse, she met Julius of Vessel, who could absorb large amounts of bias factor. Since then, she has given everything to turn Julius into the singularity. Her racial everything, her father, sister, blood, the goddess orders, were all offerings to Julius. There has been no word about her. However, she's presumed dead after being swallowed by the orphan cells of the Devouring Apocalypse. Her official view is that she was the main sacrifice of the Spiral Tree and... Together with Julius is to be recognized as sacri for sacrificing herself to save the world. Fair enough. Uh, Leah, initially a big supporter of Dr. Rachel's plan. She had little idea of its overall scope. Thanks to Dr. Scott's inquiry, her sentence was suspended and she was allowed to resume her R&D work in prior. Goddard Soldier Project has been frozen, but Leah plans to start new research based on the basic principles of the soldiers prior to Rachel's involvement. That's fair. Area materials, of course, there's new error or new, uh, missions to do. There's, there's, there's a whole after story um, that I'm not going to do a let's play on, at least not for the time being. Uh, I, I don't want to read all this crap. You guys can read it all if you want to pause and stuff. Oh. All right, I, I, yeah, I want to, I want to keep this going. I want to talk to everybody. Oh, frick it. Let's go talk to everybody real quick. Uh, what's up, Con Cannon? There been a number of new types of origami here recently. Where's they're all, I missed it. They're all fuse stages. Oh, frick. Even without Red Rain, the origami threat continues. So, time to go pick some origami tail. I agree. It's only been a month, but it feels like everything happened ages ago. People all but worship the battle train. I was just to the end of the Red Rain. Please. Trying to match people deifying Julius. I just don't know how to feel about it. That's fair. Uh, there he is. Red Rain seems to have stopped after, well, whatever the case, the Argami is still a problem. Worse, we still have the infected Goddard soldiers deal with it. If you make you trouble, promise to protect the world. We gotta fill that promise. We have to. I agree. Let's go talk to people in here real quick. What's up? Every time a new shipment of food comes in, I am reminded how hard the Guard Eaters work. Thank you for keeping us safe. Good. Question mark. We never discovered Kugurumi's true identity. Just you wait, Kugurumi. I will unmask you. Oh. No one uses the Goddard Soldiers anymore. I suppose that was inevitable. But still, whatever else happened, they were a great help. And I have to say, totally awesome. I would kill for a Goddard Soldier action figure. I'm sure you would, buddy. I'm sure you would. Look, at it's so big now. It's so silly. All right, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure... Let's see if there's anyone up here. Anyone up here? No. Anyone up here? What's up? Our patients have already returned to their satellite bases. Everyone is healed and healthy. I'm happy, but also a little sad to see them go. There. There. No one, no one, no one. Okay. I just want to check every room and make sure that there is no one to talk to. So what's up, Dr. Sakaki? With help of Friars researchers, we are analyzing the this party to us, the spiral tree. We still find it hard to believe that the Divine Apocalypse is repeating itself within that thing. Um, what is it? All you want to know about what it is? It's the world in two ways. First, stop the red rain. We absorb the singularity. Second, it, as long as it stands, we need to be another apocalypse. It's just a theory, however. In the tree, two apocalypses are locked in an internal struggle. We put some input, the singularity has been neutralized. Because no one will not appear, and then pox never come to, come to be, in theory anyway. It exists. Even now, it is locked within the spiral tree. The bias field pulse tests have proven this. But we don't know how long it will last. That's why we need to study it. That's terrible, the Red Rain. When it disappeared, Red Nimbus has stopped forming. We haven't detected a single one since. The Red Rain existed to bring out the singularity, and ultimately only one was ever needed. That singularity exists within the spiral tree. As long as Juice lives, Red Rain will not fall. She used to recur within the spiral tree and is proof that Julie still lives. Okay. Alright, we'll come back anytime. Alright. That's it guys, I'm done. I need to I need to go to bed and pack and go to bed. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking through this with me and hope you guys enjoyed this awesome gem of a game that not as enough people have played, in my opinion. Uh let me go let me know what you guys think in the comments. Feel free to yeah, just let me know what's happening. Um, until then, stay tuned to the next series. I already have a number of games I want to play. Hopefully, a few games that are much shorter, and one game in particular that is much longer. So we'll we'll get to that. So stay tuned till the next series. Take care.